everybody, my name's Artendris, and welcome back to Little Witch in the Woods. Last time, if I remember correctly, um, yes, we made a curse... What's it called? I don't remember what the... A curse lifting candy for, uh, for Arden, and did spoke with them quite a bit about why they might be cursed. <laughs> so, uh... Apparently, our dragon friend in one of his past lives, because that's how dragons in this universe live. They live a thousand years, but like every however so long, they have to start forgetting memories or else it becomes too much to handle. So, apparently, in one of his past lives, he had some sort of run-in with a witch that might have left him cursed. But we have to wait until at least tomorrow to start learning a little bit more. On top of that, last time, we also gave everything to Kyla to start fixing back up the fountain, so that should be ready in the last couple days. And as like a side note to that, we're planning a sort of festival or something in the middle of town, so we need to make Firecracker Potion, which requires, if I can find it in this list, it's at the very end, isn't it? Yes, Tinkle Spider, Frog Roast, and Mandrake. So, uh, we're Mandrake hunting for a little bit. Uh, if I remember, we need four little mandrake in the roaster and make dry powder. And the mandrake spawns in the forest, day or night. And, yeah, they scream, so this might be a little bit painful. No idea what's going to happen. Maybe just, like, a really heavy cost to energy, maybe? I have no idea. But I also need to find it. I don't actually know what it looks like. I know we had seen it at some point before, obviously. That's how we have it on the... Oh, it's these. Oh. <laughs> oh. That sucked. Oh. Oh, hold on. Can we actually not gather them? Yeah. Oh. And definitely don't try gathering two before you're actually fully healed from the first one. Okay. Those are actually impossible to gather without the earmuff potions, then. How do we make the earmuff potions? I don't remember. Um, frog roast, wetland grass, and blue moon butterfly extract. I know I have frog roast. I know I have blue moon butterfly. It's a question of, do I have wetland grass? I know I had gathered at least enough for one extra. I think I'm going to need probably two potions to make sure I have enough, though. I don't know if I have it. I suppose it's not too much trouble. Just to, like, double check and just, like, run and grab it real quick. We can gather them at night just fine. Um. Oh, hello there, little frog. Don't worry. We don't need to gather you. I know for a fact I have you. One. Probably just gather a lot of this. Because we have the energy to spare right now, and we don't need any more. Two. Three. Come on. Four. I don't know why I'm really counting. Counting doesn't really matter right here. I'm just gathering as many as I find and have the energy for. So... Uh, there should be a couple more up at the, this upper body of water, and that should be good. We can just, like, run back. Make the earmuff potions. Ooh, stones. Hold on a second. I... So all this stuff respawns on a reload, too. That is semi-cheatable, then. So... Uh, I'm probably not going to be doing this, but that means that I could realistically just go about, gather all the stones I could find and everything else I need, head back, save, and reload, and I can just, like, gather everything in one day, rather than waiting, like, multiple days. No idea which would be faster, though. I suppose this spends less in-game time, but probably more out-of-game time, if I had to guess. Eh, maybe not a worthwhile, maybe not really a worthwhile trade-off, but if I need, like, resources, like, in one day for, like, a quest, suppose that wouldn't be an off, like, eh, 
This is all theoretical. I'm probably not going to spe be spending it much any time doing that anyways. But like, worst worst case scenario. But anyways, let's go make a couple earmuff potions real quick before heading to bed. We're apparently going to need them. Um, oh, I had three. I didn't even need to gather those at all. Um, frog roast and blue moon butterfly. I actually only have two of these. It could have sworn I had more than that. Uh, it's at the very bottom, isn't it? For the wet and grass. What is that extract? I don't know. I, hmm. There is one extract we don't know about, even though I have all the plants. Is that Phoenix Feather Extract? That might be. Do I know all the roasts? Uh, I was pressing the wrong button. No, I don't. That's the Mandrake. I know that's the Mandrake. Is there a plant I maybe haven't gathered? Um, Witch Flower, Starbell, Maple. Do I have the bird flower extract in here? I do. What does that belong to? It has little sparkles on it. This, oh, the ones with, like, sparkles are, like, the rarer stuff. My best guess would be phoenix feather extract. And we did get something saying we were going to need, need to make lunar oil again. So, uh, I think we're probably getting a... Uh, we're probably getting a phoenix feather at some point. <laughs> Anyways. You can go back. You can go back. And you can go back. So, let's make as many of these earmuff potions as we can, I guess. So, frog, grass, butterfly, one left. Frog, grass, butterfly, one left. And we want to make two of these, which is as many as we can make. Thank you. I fairly certainly already read the description for that one, so I'm not going to read it again. So, you can go back... Let's try and organize this real quick. Uh, I'd... Oh, I already have a spot for that. I didn't even need to make another one. Ugh. Oh my god, there's so much junk in here. Oh, it's so... <laughs> I, know, I even have page two now. Uh, eh, It's too much work trying to organize everything right now. So we have the earn muff potions for gathering mandrakes tomorrow. Tomorrow the well should also the fountain should probably be finished tomorrow. Either that or it's going to be tied to our our quest we currently have for the firecracker potion. Save. Um I guess we can run to town and check real quick. We should also check to see if Roy's opened up shop yet. Has this always been here? Probably. I'm probably just oblivious. That sack's probably been there this entire time. I noticed all the other barrels, so I guess I just forgot about that bag. Is it finished? Is it finished? It is not finished. Kyla, do you have a special quest? Uh, hello, Apprentice Witch. I'm listening. Nope. Okay. Yep. Nope. So, that might be tied to the firecracker potion being finished for that. Sure. Speak. Is your shop open? I'm still preparing. Speak. Nope. Arden, do you have more to say? The three important people we need to talk to right now, and two of them we've already struck out on. You're here. Yeah, how was it, Arden? Still the same, even after using that key, even... Uh, Let's try that one again. Even after eating that candy or something, I couldn't sleep because of the dream. Though it's not a curse. Hmm. Do you remember anything else about the curse? Well, like I said before, I can't roughly remember, but I don't exactly know who it is. Still, wasn't there any kind of trace left? I searched the inside of the store on my own after you left, but there's nothing in particular. Hmm. 
Come to think of it, there are things I put outside because I'm going to throw them away. At least take a look at them. Except, oh, why did you try to throw them away? Because I've had them at some point, but I didn't know why. There are quite a few things that I've thrown away like that, even in the past. Some of them seem to have been taken by other people. If you see something you lack while looking, you can take it. It might be cursed. Never mind then. Remember me not, near dear dragon. Interesting title for her quest. Investigate the trinkets in front of the restaurant. Like the sword and shield, or like these... You're saying that it's dark to decorate a restaurant with weapons, right? It just looks so easy to put on a curse. Look at this broken figure. They're just old broken sword and shield. Maybe there's something written on them. Uh, <laughs> there's nothing. I said they're just old things. The wretched soul of a treasure-seeking royer drowned, drowned by the dragon's flames. <laughs> nope. She, you said that was so... <laughs> I just realized how weird that sentence is, saying that was so up, uh, upbeatly. Or however you would actually say whatever I was just attempting to say. Uh, saying something like that so upbeat is something. <laughs> Shush. So it's not that. Is it in one of these tr trunks? Shall we take a look? Um, I wasn't expecting much, but still. The box is a treasure chest. You remind me of your mother because she used to open everything that's been found. Only Arden would put food ingredients in a treasure chest. Uh, why are there so many radishes? I thought those were parsnips. Okay. What is the difference? Are parsnips and radishes the same thing? Are parsnips a type of radish? Are radishes a type of parsnip? I don't know. I'm getting my knowledge from Stardew Valley. <laughs> so. I don't think I've seen it in a stew either. It's not radish, it's parsnip. Okay, guess I was right then. <laughs> Th thank you. Thank you, Virgil. Thank you for answering my question. <laughs> it's an ingredient often put in stews and pies. Uh-huh. No, I searched all the way to the bottom and found nothing but radish. I told you that it's parsnip. This is really... Surprisingly... Just junk. <laughs> because the world is not your oyster. Why are you saying like it's someone else's business? It can't be like this. What are you going to do? Arden said some of the things thrown away seem to have been taken by other people. I should go ask the villagers. The source, the source of the curse. Who cursed Arden? It would be much better than just looking through junk. Yeah. Hey, we know Arden used to throw a bunch of junk away. Did you happen to keep any of it, Kyla? Hello, Apprentice Witch. Yeah, Arden threw a bunch of junk away. Did you happen to go through it and keep something from it that might have been a cursed artifact? A curse. <laughs> what a funny story. If it was Arden, he could have gotten it. <laughs> He's a dragon and blunt. <laughs> That's right. He's so indifferent. That man is not a kind person. Kyla, have you ever seen Arden throwing anything away? Oh, oh. This one's for me. They threw away such a nice glass. There are letters engraved. 
Yes, that's right. There were two conspicuous A's engraved. Maybe it says A curse on Arden? <laughs> I'm listening. No, thank you for your time, Kyla. Ask the villagers about Arden. Oria, do you know anything about this curse? No way, that's a taboo word. <laughs> no, Oria, it's it's not about Pepper. Really, a curse just makes me shudder. <laughs> do you need anything? Nope, thank you for your time. Roy, I need do either of you know anything about this? Sure. Speak. This story is for foreign to me. Speak. Okay, so Roy knows nothing. And eats. I'm lonely. Do you have something to say? I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about that line. Someone who would curse Arden. Who would curse a good dragon like Arden? Good dragon? Ellie, that wasn't the case with you. He just said a lot of bad things to me. Uh, it seems like there's some kind of story behind it. Speaking of a story, have you ever received anything from Arden? He was about to throw away a bunch of good stuff, so I brought something. Aw, that's a cute little apron. <laughs> you just keep it on you at all times? Okay. Here it is. Isn't it a little small for Arden to wear? Arden also said that's the reason he threw it away. There must have been someone else at the restaurant before. You have something to say? No, thank you, Anit. A plus A and, a and an apron that is way too small for our dragon friend. Hmm, I'm beginning to sense where this might be going. <laughs> Um, hey, Rear Brown, where you at, little buddy? <laughs> I need to ask you some questions. Are you inside? Yes, you are. Hi there. Will there be treasures in the green forest? Any interesting stories? Hey, do you know anything about this? Curse? What's the curse? The thing in the treasure? Hmm, a curse that doesn't allow you to talk about anything except nature or... That makes you keep having nightmares and can't sleep, or... Makes you have hiccups every time you eat an apple. That's... Where'd, where'd this third one come from? <gasps> Did Uncle Arden get one? Maybe. I'm investigating because I'm not sure. Did you happen to take in... Did you happen to take anything that Arden threw away? Yes, this one, sparkly and pretty. Of course it's a tea set. Oh, Rubrum, you're so cute. <laughs> the picture drawn on the teacup is a gold coin. That's quite materialistic. I can't imagine Arden using this. Uncle said he was not going to use it, and that's why he's throwing it away. Oh, Ellie. Other than this, there were other times when Uncle Arden threw something away. Aurea told me as she was giving me candy. I should also go to Aurea. Thanks, Rurum. And he, really? Aurea? I was asking a very specific question. You gave me the runaround? Really? How rude. Well, I guess we did bring up curses before the whole thrown away stuff, so it makes sense. Welcome. Do you need anything? I heard that Oria saw Arden throwing away stuff. Do you remember anything? Hmm, perhaps not long after you removed the giant prickly vine. I saw Arden carrying a huge package. Since I saw him on the way to the village. I think it was in the direction of Deep Forest. Are you looking for the curse on Arden? I'm not sure if it's a curse yet. Cheer up, get rid of the curse on my pepper. 
Uh, you really just do not want to have something you gave away have a curse on it, do you? You just hate curses that much after what you went through. <laughs> um, poor Oria. So, find the things Arden discarded deep in the woods. Okay. Good thing we're heading that way anyways to pull up some Mandrake. We Oh, bonk. We We avoid bonking. Drift. Uh, ow. <laughs> Almost avoided a bonk there. So, somewhere's in here. There's apparently a package of some sorts. Might as well grab the mud while I'm here. Oh, hello there. What are you? Oh, oh my god, it's so cute. This is a dragon, right? It looks a lot different from Arden, though. Maybe it's Arden's appearance in the past. Ah! What's this? A curse? The neck has been separated. Now the terrible curse. That's not it. Something's inside. Squiggly drawing. A squiggly mess of a drawing, as if someone drew it with their foot holding the pencil. It appears to be a drawing of a woman. The writings below are in the language of dragons. <laughs> drawing? A person? What a terrible drawing. And strange letters are written on it. Is this also a painting? It's a dragon language. The dragon scripts. Oh, can you read it? That I don't know. You don't know if you can read it? You know, Virgil. This isn't a curse. Arden just forgot someone. Apron, teacup, wine glass, and dragon sculpture. Uh, from the picture of it, I'd, I'd, I'd seem more like a beer mug than a wine glass, but sure, go ahead. <laughs> He's dreaming because he threw away a bunch of stuff, since he can't remember. Because he's a dragon. Because he's a dragon that lives many lives. Let's take it to Arden. Can we get, like, a better picture, uh, better look at it, or just like that? Nope. Do not try to throw that away. Um, while we're here... Drink. You can't stop me, Mandrakes. Eh. Come on. Aha, I can't hear you. How long does this last? Is it going to be enough for me to pull up four, or am I going to have to drink both? Ah. Must hurry. Um, I'll be able to pull up these two, I think, just fine. If I can get more on just the one potion. Uh... Oh, oh, it's a retouring. Oh, hello there. I didn't even notice you there. Oh, that was perfect timing. I guess I only need the four. So, I need those for the firecracker potion and the... Uh, it's one of these... Can uh, yeah, the soft candy here for muscle paint. We don't need any more than just the four for right now, so we'll be good. So, that will let us make the firecracker potion. But, uh, first, let's go have a chat with Arden. On the broom we go! We Did I turn too soon? Yes, yes, I did. Or oh, not really. Bye, Rubram. Oh, oh, I'm surprised I didn't hit that there. Oh, that was, that was kind of cool, if I do say so myself. That was, like, perfect. I'm running it all the time, although it's quiet. What's going on? Remember me not, dear dragon. Should I give the dragon figure and drawing to Arden? Yes. Arden, take a look at this. It's me. It really was what Arden looked like. Wasn't that what you expected? Still, I was surprised. No, that's not the important thing. Arden, 
take a look at this as well. This came out of the dragon figure. My love. What? It is written that way as a pred predicate. It is written that way as a predicate. Okay. okay. Uh, Arden? The reason why you keep dreaming is not because of a curse, Arden. There is someone that you've forgotten. So maybe that's the reason why you keep dreaming about them. About that person. Uh, I said let's run a restaurant together. With who? A warrior was after my treasure. Yeah, I love this warrior. That's how it was. Hence the sword and shield. Where did this person go? Died a long time ago. Uh... You don't need to make that face because I don't feel anything. Thanks. I think you're right. Don't know why she popped up in my dreams, but I'll know once I dream again. Hmm. I did it right. I did it right. Yeah, thanks. It's still too early to thank me. I'll also help you find your other memories, Arden. That wouldn't be necessary if I can sleep, but do what you want. Anyway, thanks for the effort. Beef bread. But is this thing called love this desolate? That depends on the person. Still, something seems more emotionless than when I read a book. If you forget that you even loved, doesn't that mean you never loved much? Mm, no. No. Virgil, you're wrong. He said he keeps having dreams. Maybe he forgot something he didn't want to. If Arden is even forgetting his feelings, I want to help find them for him. Yeah. Because you're a witch? Yes, helping others is the witch spirit. I mean, if you live for eternity, eventually you're going to forget things that happen, but you don't always want to forget those things. So, when emotions and memories of those you love start to fade because you've been gone so long that you're not there with them anymore, I suppose that feeling is, uh, that's not probably a great feeling, I can imagine. Anyways, uh, I guess we make celebratory firecrackers? <laughs> After a bit of a... <laughs> We're jumping right from kind of sad melancholy stuff to firecrackers for a celebration. <laughs> Uh, these go in the roaster, right? I believe they do. Yes, little mandrake roast. I forgot to read what that said. No. It doesn't say what it said on that screen. I forgot. Uh, I guess I'm waiting. Do I have anything else to do while I wait? I guess I can grab everything else I need. Uh, I'm pressing. I'm forgetting all the wrong all the buttons. Tinkle spider frog mandrake. You can go in there, you can go in there. Frog. Tinkle spider. Man drake. Ah, I'm stuck on corners. A plant that takes the shape of a human. Due to the environment of the green forest, they cannot fully mature. Okay, now I get to read that. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to. So let's make some firecrackers. Uh, so what do we need to do? Spider, frog, mandrake, stage three, right. Spider, frog, mandrake, stage three, right. Yep, that's right. Happy smoke clouds. Happy smoke clouds. Yay. Firecracker potion. A potion that flies high up in the sky and explodes in beautiful sparks at a specific height. Thank you. Firecracker potion is ready. I finally made one with my own hands. 
Be careful handling it. It's probably supervised by the administration for a reason. Yeah, please don't blow up the witch's house. We kind of have to stay here. <laughs> yes, of course, because no one should get hurt. Well, let's take the firecracker potion to Anit. Ellie is kind of scatterbrained, but she isn't going to get anyone hurt. She's going to try her best not to get anyone hurt, at least. Oh yeah, that's also a thing. Ellie's mom might just show up at some point, because Ellie put her mom's name on the report she had to write for making the firecracker potion. So, if uh, they happen to call Ellie's mom and tell her where she is, we might get in trouble. <laughs> uh, Anit, where you at? Kyle is still hard at work. Um, you're not up here, and you're very seldom in your house. Where are you? Oria, have you seen any? Uh, I don't know if I've ever seen any go in here, but not here. Um, where's our little goat friend? Uh, Ani, where you at? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't think anyone comes up here. I wonder if we'll ever get to go in here. Temple of the Cat God. Based on the sign, there should have been a road. Uh, I've already read that before. I was I was hoping maybe that had changed slightly, but it's exactly the same. Uh, oh, there you are, Anit. Guess I was wrong about you not coming in here. Oh, the little tea set's even on the table right now. That's the same tea set from that Arden gave Rubram, I think. Anit, I heard you're preparing something. Oh my, I guess everyone in the village knows already. But we don't know what it is. And I've also prepared something. I'm sure it's something wonderful if you prepared it, Ellie. Would you call the villagers? You can do that later if you have some work left. You can use the firecracker potion at night. Should I spend time with Anit until it's until nightfall? Um Sure, we're gonna do this. I just uh just gonna get some water real quick before I continue on, so give me just one second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I just had to get some water and then I used some of that like anti throat ache spray. Like, you have, like, a sore throat. I'm feeling better now. Anyways, let's -a go. <laughs> I did go Mario there. Ugh. Anyways, let's go on to a party. <gasps> Yay! Oh, it's so pretty! It's been so long since all of us got together. Come to think of it, I didn't give Ellie a proper welcoming. The fountain is restored now, and I wanted to celebrate together again. Thank you all for coming. Grandma's giant pie! Oh, I totally didn't notice that. <laughs> That's a big pie. Then I'll leave it to you, Arden. Uh, don't get too close. Ooh. Yay. Oh, that cooked very fast. Wow, it smells amazing. It's the giant pie that Grandma used to talk about. Wow, it's been a really long time. I couldn't find this flavor, even in the famous bakery in High Lion. Ahem, it seems to be baked well. Even Ellie prepared something amazing this time. Here, Ellie, it's your turn. Here goes, a refreshing firecracker potion. I'm not sure refreshing is the right word, because we're about to blow something up, but okay. <gasps> oh, yay!
Whoa! It's so pretty! Ellie, you're the best! Wow, seeing the fireworks from Asteria is great, too. Gorgeous! Those are some great fireworks. It's so beautiful. The ones I saw with my husband a long time ago were just like this. Thank you, Ellie. <laughs> oh, this is really cute. I'm so glad everyone likes it. Now let's all have some pie. It's been a while since I baked a pie this big, so I'm not sure how it'll taste. Rubrum, will you please help? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Ellie could hide in that pie. Just saying. <laughs> did everyone get a slice? Where did it go? Are we? Did we eat that entire pie? What? <laughs> There's only six of us. It needs giant pie slice. 300 hearts. A special slice of the giant pie in it made to restore the village and welcome returning residents. Eating some will remind you of the fireworks you saw that day and make you feel happier. Yay! It smells really good. I'm drooling. Virgil, do you eat? You have a hat, but do you eat? You... You are a hat. You do not have a hat. You have a mouth, but do you actually eat or do you just use it for talking? I don't know. I need these questions answered. It's been a long time since I last had this. I missed this smell. Sweet things make my mouth feel gross, but this is this is delicious. <laughs> Maybe a neat just has the magic touch. <laughs> a, gi a giant pie! A giant pie! <laughs> oh, Rubrum. Thank you, Anit. Have lots, everyone. Eat well, be well. It's time to wrap up the day, so we're ready for tomorrow. I would like to thank everyone again. Especially Ellie. It's been happy times only since you came. You're the lucky charm of this village. <laughs> oh. I really like Ellie too. If it wasn't for Ellie, I wouldn't have returned. Thank you for helping me return. Great work, Ellie. <laughs> Let's all keep doing our best. Yay! <laughs> oh. The Little Witch in the Wood. Thank you for playing. Press C to continue. Oh. Huh? Um. Hmm. Hold on. <laughs> That's not the end, right? <laughs> Well, that's not the end, right? I thought he read... Well, the game didn't auto-end. I, I miss... Huh? Was that, like, the original ending and, like, they've added on more from here? Um... Huh. Huh. I'll look into this. Um... This isn't the end, right? Um, let's drop in a save. Looking at the time, this is where I'm ending off for today. Um, I don't think this is the finale. I think there's more story. Like, I hope there's more story. Like, I'm assuming I can finish off with Arden, right? It seems like there's probably one more little quest bit to that, at least. And I could have sworn I read something about fixing up the bridge. So... Uh, okay. I'll look into this to see how much more is left. 
There's at least one more. Oh my god. What? I was not expecting this. I was not expecting a thank you for playing screen. That got that got me. That seemed like a pretty good ending for like where they were up to this point. But I'm assuming that's the original thank you for playing screen. And that they just have more story bits added on after that. And they haven't for like the original end of the demo was there and they just didn't remove it, I'm assuming. So hmm. I'll look into it. Tomorrow's episode might be the last one for now. <laughs> I was not expecting this. <laughs> oh, that was very sweet. But anyways, I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed as much as I have, and I hope to see you next time. So, without further ado, take care, everybody.